All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be a quick little unboxing of the Team Orion Vortex DSB-R. Now this is a digital setting box for any of the Vortex R-Series speed controls. Now I previously unboxed uh, one of the R10 Pros, that be right there, and this little setting box here uh, will be able to program anything on that speed control in the field. So you don't need a laptop with it, and that's the coolest thing about this. Uh, one thing that kind of plagues a lot of uh, us hobbyists is all the stuff that we have to bring to a track to be able to um, tune and and work on your RC car. So uh, this little package here actually is very, very small. I've actually pre-opened it, so you guys aren't the first to see it. Uh, I saw it first, you guys are seeing it second, and it's so small that it, it's, it fits into any bag. It, you don't have to carry a laptop with you, and I'm really begging for someone out there, any electronics company, to come out with an application for a smartphone to be able to program your ESC. Please let there someone be the first to do that. But anyways, let's uh, let's look at what you get inside the box, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, the, the box, nice Orion box. They did a good job with all of this. Um, has pretty much all the same stuff all around, and they have some of their information here for Team Orion in Europe. Obviously, they're pretty big in Europe and also Japan, and then U.S. right down here on the bottom. So uh, Horizon product support and then they also have a hotline here if you have any issues. So let's uh, pop this thing open and see what we get inside the box. So inside you have a bubble wrap item and you have a cord. Looks like there's some stuff underneath it. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out. We'll save this for later. Let's uh, look at all the boring stuff first. So it looks like you get a USB to a mini USB connection cable. I think I have like four or five of these just from the RC world, let alone all of the other things that I use these cables for. And underneath, let's look at what we get underneath here. It looks like you get a a strange plug. Looks like a fan plug to a receiver plug. And then a receiver to a receiver. So not sure of how all this hooks up yet. I'm still learning as I go. And let's take a look at the owner's manual. It looks like they do include this, which is very, very nice. So, got your owner's manual right there. Looks like you have all sorts of information on here on how to connect the program box. So it looks like there might be several ways that you can connect it, which is pretty cool. And then enough of that boring stuff. Let's get on to this program box. I think uh, on the front of the box it actually said setting box. So I, I think there might be a little miss uh, on the translation there. But there it is. has that really cool um, carbon look to it. It's not actually carbon. It's the picture of carbon. It's all the Orion logos and then DSBR. Looks like it has all your buttons down here, and the coolest thing, it does have that display. So you're going to be able to scroll through all your functions and add value, reset, and then also save to your ESC. So on the side here, it looks like you get a little receiver wire for the ESC and then also the USB right there. It looks like there's a blanked over one right here. I'm not sure what that one was. It looks like it was taped over. Other side, nothing. And then on the back side, Orion Vortex DSBR. Bottom side, just that it's all legal to use. All the different ROHS, CE, FC, like that matters anymore. And it has a little protective cover. That's kind of why it looks like that right now. So that's it. I uh, have lots of work to do on my B442. That is where these Team Orion products are going. And that's it. I will probably do a update later on once I get the 
Orion products loaded into the B442. And I will do a quick little how-to on how to use this Team Orion Vortex DSB-R setting box. Well, that's it for now, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.